how to set up a metamask wallet hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own metamask crypto wallet so let's get into it now everyone knows the popularity of cryptocurrencies and how they have become a very essential part of the current trading world so if you are looking to buy nfts if you're looking to trade in crypto uh, you need a platform or a wallet which enables you to keep all of your digital assets so metamask is one of those service providers it is available for free and you can get started right away even if you don't want to buy anything if you're looking to create nfts and you want to mint your nfts then you would still need a crypto wallet so for that purpose metamask is a great option now to get started with metamask all you have to do is go on to metamask.io once you go on to metamask.io you're just going to click on download on the top right then you're going to select your device if you're on your laptop you're going to go with chrome if you are on your phone you're going to go into your application store or app store and then you're going to download metamask from there so we're just going to click on install for chrome and then this will open up this new tab which is going to be the chrome web store where you're going to click on add to chrome then you're going to click on add extension and now we're just going to wait for our download to be completed at the bottom left over here so we're just going to wait for our metamask download to be finished so we have metamask added to our chrome bar now you can see on your top right metamask is been added and this new tab will open up which will welcome you to metamask so you're going to click on get started now if you already have created an account previously and you have some money in it you can go and have a recovery phrase and activate that or you can just click on create a wallet and then you're going to click on i agree then you're going to enter the password that you want to use for your crypto wallet so i'm just going to input a simple little password that i'm going to use for my metamask account and now you're going to click on i have read and agree to the terms of use and then you're just going to click on create over here once you click on create you're going to click on next and then we're just going to click on next over here we're just going to skip the recovery phrase but i would recommend that if you're actually looking to trade or save money or you know add money onto your metamask account make sure that you have set up the recovery phrase that i just skipped but i have to skip that for now and just like that our metamask account has been created now you can see i have my assets which are in ethereum and if i go back i have the activity where i can find and monitor all of the transactions that happen via my metamask account then on the top right i have add network so i can add different network names and uh, you can add multiple networks and chains to your metamask account where you are storing or transferring money then you also have this section on the right which is your account and you can click on lock to lock your accounts then you have create account import account connect hardware wallet support and settings now if we click on settings over here you have the currency conversion you have the language you have the identification icon and hide tokens without balance now uh, once you have done that you can begin your crypto journey and start using metamask as your basic crypto wallet now if you click on your top right over here on this puzzle icon you can click on this pin over here to pin your metamask account onto your chrome bar and then whenever you need an overview of your crypto investments or you're looking to buy or send money you can just open it up from here and there are are three basic features on metamask for trading you have buy send and swap so if you click on buy over here you have multiple options such as transact moon pay wire and directly buy e so if you click on view account then you can just scan this over here and get ethereum ethereum then you have other platforms to purchase other cryptocurrencies as well so if we click on buy over here so if we click on buy over here we can continue with moon pay wire or any other platform ethereum is going to be one of the main currencies that metamask focuses on and if we click on continue to wire it will allow you to basically purchase cryptocurrency with your credit card or debit card so this is just one of the simplest ways to purchase cryptocurrencies and if you don't have that as well you can also go with a moon pay so it is a super popular method with visa mastercard google apple pay samsung pay so if you have any of those set up you can 
purchase your cryptocurrency with that as well. Then you can also choose to buy Ethereum with the Transact. So Transact also supports credit and debit cards, Apple Pay, MobiQuick, and bank transfers. So if you want to uh, use bank transfers as your basic mode to purchase your cryptocurrencies on MetaMask, you can select them from here. So you have bank transfer, Visa, Apple, Google Pay, and so much more. All of these have a super low conversion cost and the fees are going to be as minimal as possible. That is one of the best parts about using MetaMask. Now, if we click on send over here, you can just search for the address that you want to send your currency on, your Ethereum on, and then you can also click on swap over here. So whatever cryptocurrency you have purchased, let's say you have 0.01 ETH, they're going to give you a approximate estimate of how many dollars that is. Then you can choose to swap it for another kind of token because you are whenever you're going to be purchasing cryptocurrency on metamask you are going to be purchasing it primarily within eth and then after that you can just swap it into any other cryptocurrency of your own personal preference so if you are going to buy an nft which is not on the ethereum blockchain maybe it's on Solana or any other blockchain then you can simply go on metamask and convert your ethereum into other tokens as well so if we take a look at the Ethereum that we have, we can convert it into any other token. So there are many options such as DAI, USDC, USDT, Ethereum, Binance USD, Solana, Flexcoin, Linkcoin, Gala, Waves, Shiba Inu, Apecoin, The Sandbox, Metal, Polymath, Phantom, USD, and you also have other options as well. You have Luna as well. And then if you click on advanced options, you can take a look at your slippage tolerance. So if the price changes between the time you ordered and it's confirmed it's called slippage your swap will be automatically cancelled if it exceeds your maximum slippage so you can set a, a custom maximum slippage as well two to three percent is usually the normal amount that people prefer because they don't want too many hikes and spikes in their cryptocurrency transactions and then you can choose if you want this to be a smart transaction so smart transactions before submitting to decrease transaction costs and reduce failure so if you want to make sure that your transaction goes through you can enable the smart transaction option Option. So these are just some of the basic features of MetaMask. There are swaps. There is the EIP-1559 where gas fees work with MetaMask. So if you are minting a NFT, you are going to get the lowest gas fees available that are possible. So that is going to be one feature that is going to help especially in the NFT community. So if we go and click on create and we're going to click on create and we're going to upload a NFT, we need to choose our cryptocurrency wallet and then you can just go with MetaMask, it is one of the most popular options over here. It's the same with Rarible as well. You can just connect your cryptocurrency wallet and begin your uh, journey to start uploading your own NFTs. Other than that, if you're looking to trade on Binance or if you're looking to buy anything with your digital assets, then MetaMask is going to be a simple and easy solution to all your crypto needs. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own cryptocurrency wallet with MetaMask. You use some of its amazing features such as the basic slippage and the basic swaps as well. And if you still have any difficulties regarding cryptocurrencies or if you're still confused about anything regarding cryptocurrencies or the likes then and if you still have questions leave them in the comment box down below or if you think that I have left anything out leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to hear from you guys and share this video with your friends anyone that is interested in crypto and NFTs make sure to share this video with them as well and i will catch you guys in the next video